Hello everyone, don't get alarmed by where we're standing. We are just enjoying the view over towards mainland Vadenfell. We can see far and beyond over the little archipelago here and onto mainland Vadenfell in the distance. And I am looking forward to today's episode. We have a lot to do, but that's okay. I... We have this journal that is very useful because it reminds us of where we left off last time. And we have the rules of the Tilvani here, but we are looking for Drake's Pride. And I got a few comments saying that this is something to pay attention to, close attention to, and that it is something that is definitely worth pursuing. So we will do that. Neloth says, at the present time, Sinise Thindo wears the rope of Drake's pride. She is a servant of Master Garthren in Telarun and a mere child of 200 years. She does not deserve the robe. Correct this injustice and bring the robe to me as clearly I deserve the robe far more than she does. So potentially a murderous subplot in our grand adventure for conquest and fame. Well also more than that because um, we are going to lead the abolitionist movement here in Vadenfell hopefully but we also have to find a way down which can be a bit difficult and I think this is one way that we can send to the lower ranks of society. Yes! Ah, interesting. Okay. We can just barely jump up here. And a few of you have also told me that... No, okay, we're not where I thought we were, but this is intriguing. Mmm, calcinator. Mortar and pestle. So... Oh, cheap rising force potion anyone is looking? No. Yeah. And obviously we're in the Tilvani, so stealing is... Oh, there's another one! And this frost shield, we don't need that, but we could sell it. 35... Something. 35 drakes, that is. And we could potentially also sell the Motar and Pestle. Grandmaster, I believe that we can't use them when they are at the Grandmaster level or... Um, rank. So let's just steal this journeyman's calcinator oh we are over encumbered okay we are 10 over okay so we have to eat something i find that we no that doesn't take up a lot of weight something that crab meat both of them um hopefully it won't kill us eating all of this stuff so and i hope you've had a great transition over the new year and that you are well rested i am for the most part ready to engage with capitalism and all that it and other things that demand so much of us meat hound has no effect on us that is perfect and that is not good because meat hound actually restores our fatigue but it's fine for now hound meat hound meat not meat hound hound meat sorry and let's eat a bit more of it. I'm thinking if there's anything we can drop. We still haven't read the ABCs for barbarians, but we'll get to that. I always, I think I have said that before and then not gotten to it, but um, at one point we will. We'll just eat a bit of guar hide, which sounds very healthy. And none of it had any effect on us, but we're able to walk freely again. The Doors of the Spirit. Let's look at this. This is a short book. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Um, I have no idea what it adds to the world, but we can try and maybe form a few thoughts around that, because it is here for a reason, so. <clears throat> the Doors of the Spirit. The ancestors are among us. They are never farther away from the waiting door. The ancestors are not departed. The dead are not under the earth. Their spirits are in the restless wind, in the fire's voice, and the foot-smoothed step. Pay heed to these things, and you'll know your absent kin. Pay reverence through gift and prayer. Acquaint the ancestors with your affairs, with your comings and goings, with your blessings and trials. 
from the waiting door comes your protection. Heed the spirits who are the guardians of your hearth. Teachers of wisdom, counselors of fortune, seers of fate. Each bone is a door through the wall of the world. Each bone is the road with wisdom and power, the travelers. Each bone is the ghost fence that guards us from evil. Honor the ancestors upon your hearths, within your halls, in the community of your temples, in the solitude of your tombs. Guard your ancestors from beasts, from thieves, from profane priests and sorcerers. Let no creature steal your spirits, for the plundered hearth is diminished and the plundered tomb is shamed. Mm -hmm. Live in one world with your spirits. Honor the spirits within and without you. Do not grieve for the dead. Take shelter in their arms and pay heed to their words. Uh, it sounds like a book that we read a while back and I do like it. Again, it kind of refers to how the Dunmer treasure the afterlife or the concept of afterlife and revere their fallen kin. But in a sense, do not say goodbye to them, but rather see them as still amongst us, if you could say it like that. That's what I kind of interpret it. But um, we have a few cultures. Ow. Ooh, we have a few cultures here in this world that, or in Tamriel, that see death differently than we do in our world and the Nords are also amongst those so there's great honor surrounding deceased kin and and the same goes with the Dunmer here in Vadenfell I assume so we are out in the open and we're just taking a deep breath in <sighs> lovely seems like Kor is breathing the fresh air of the Sea of Ghosts, I imagine, out here, or the Azuran Coast. And I am sitting in my room here in real, in the real world, breathing in the fumes of my self-produced carbon dioxide and what little oxygen that there is available in here, because opening the window is a bit cold now, so... Um, but sure, that's it. Okay, so let's go and just broaden the perspective a bit. We are meant to go to... Drake's, no, not to Drake's Pride, but we're meant to go to Telerune. And I don't think we've been in Telerune, so this is going to be interesting. We're going to a place that we have never been to before. Because mm -mm -mm -mm. we've been down visiting Mistress Therana, or Therana down in Telbranora. So I think it is time that we try something new. I don't know if Telerune is far away from here but sure I'm sure there's easy passage to over there and I looked through the footage from the last episode and I realized that there is a trader in Aldrun who has a Colovian hat so we will also just have to go past that trader to here just see if we can purchase that and we also need a levitation spell that is much cheaper than that one we have so we have to go to the major skill at some point and just hear if that is something that they can help us create speak traveler okay gals we would really like to go to oh tell arun is not an option here destination let's ask Telrenora, Telmora, Dagonfell. Dagonfell would be rather exotic to visit. I think it's somewhere up here in the north in Sh the Shiagorat region, but I can't really remember for sure. So let's just go and... Mm. Now we're faffing about again from an early onset. I don't think we're quite ready to travel yet, gals. We just changed our mind because we might arrive to Telerun and not have any means of levitating up to whatever Telvani wizard is there. I don't remember um, who is residing in that place. And oh, now the to-do list is growing. Okay, 
My thinking is, we will... May you find all that you seek, traveler. You like me again, don't you? Because last time I remember, we weren't on good standing because I had just briefly helped the Mages Guild, but now it seems like your disposition towards so me. So good to see you. Oh, it's so good to see you again, and so good that we can... This seems like core thinking. He's like, obviously he tries to remain cool and... What um, that? Oh, that was me. He tries to remain cool and, you know, socially compatible with the environment. You know, behave in ways that are socially acceptable for these people. But in his mind, he's like, it is good to finally have your acceptance again for now because we aim to utilize that at some point. Let's go in here. Okay, so the plan is we will go into the Tilvani Wizards, or sorry, to the mouths of the Tilvani Wizards and just ask someone who is affiliated with a person in Telarun. There might not be, but it would be nice to just check. So, and maybe we can get a few chores that will allow us to interact with that person. So Felisa, she is with Therana in Telbranora and Raven Omain. Dratha and where is it that Dratha is? I am Mouth in House Tilvani. I speak the words of my patron here in the Tilvani Council. Mistress Dratha. Mmm, it would be cool. Denali Dren, Mistress Dratha's alchemist needs five por portions of muck. I think we. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm looking for five por portions of muck. Many alchemists sell it, and I can gather it. And you can gather it yourself from muck sponge. Once you have five portions of muck, bring them to me. We can definitely. Okay, Raven, and Malam Ryan. Hello. Oh, that was uh, ah yeah. I am Malam Ryan, the mouth of Arch Magister Gothran. Okay, so I think this is where we are going. Yes, this is where we are heading. Yes, Archmagister Grothren is my patron. If you have business with him, you may find him in Telerun. But maybe you have any... You might have some chores for us, Malam. Okay. <clears throat> Archmagister Grothren has some questions for Baladas Demnevani. Will you speak with Baladas and bring him three questions? Yeah? Yeah, sure. Okay. <clears throat> Baladas Demnevani lives in Avris Drelin, which is in Nisis. You can use the Mage's Guild teleport service to get to Aldrun. This is interesting. Okay, we'll get to that after I've read this. And then take a Silt Strider there. Go there and ask him about the disappearance of the dwarves, Dwemer artifacts, and the Dwemer language. You will not get an answer from him. Simply asking the three questions is enough. So, Malam is basically just telling us that we can utilize the service at the Mages Guild Hall here in Satrach Mora to teleport us over to Alrun. Okay. Which is interesting because there's so much hatred between the two houses. Uh, yeah, so wow. In great though of him to do so. Oh, I never noticed that you could actually do this. Do you know what? I might just push this up. Okay. Baladas Demnevani lives in Avers. Okay, fair enough. So, I would like to hear a bit about the disappearance of the dwarves. I already have heard a bit about the disappearance of the dwarves. Obviously, there's no set theory about it, but things like Kor, a scholar, also would like to hear a Vadenfeld perspective on this. So, he asks, what do you mean about the disappearance of the dwarves? Yes, this is one of the three questions. I want you to ask Baladas Dibnevani. Okay, so we are not going to get an answer on that. What about the Dwemer artifacts? Same goes and same goes. Okay, so simply asking the three questions is enough. And this is where we are. Great. Okay, we will do so, Malam Ryan. And this will bring us. There's someone watching me. I can tell. <laughs> and this will bring us to Tel Arun. And Muck Sponge, I do remember those. They are situated out on these islands as well. Mm, somewhere around here, but it would take a bit of time to wander off just to try and find some muck sponge. I think that would probably just be. Oh, what's that over there? The far distance. 
That looks interesting. Oh, the Mox Punch. I can actually see them in the far end there. Interesting. Okay. So they are about. We just have to also make sure we've, we've got two in our inventory already. So just need three more. We can do that. But we will stumble upon them, I'm sure. And they might even be on this island as well. So let's walk back towards Mage's Guild here in Satrath Mora and use the teleport services and also try to see if we could potentially use a spell making altar or whatever they use in this province. <sighs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Sun and sky, Outlander. Yes. We greet you warmly. Mm. Thank you. We greet you warmly as well. Go ahead, stranger. They have respect for me again. I am delighted because I thought we were going to have to just go and do various chores from, you know, almost start from scratch. But, yes. but I think also that Silvani are, again, wow, more forgiving. Um, it's like, oh, okay, fair enough, you did this. This goes against everything that we stand for. But you might have been the right one to do it because you did it. So even if you went full blown mage skill, I assume you would still be part of the of the house. That is an experiment for another time. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Let's just take a moment to enjoy the sunset, just for a moment of time. Ah. <sighs> That's nice. So while we're just watching the last rays of the sun caress things like Kor's face, we can just go over some of the things that we might do over the next hour and a half. And I think going to, so the major skill, we're just gonna go and look for a spell making altar and see if we can interact with that. And if it requires us to have more money or have higher skills, we will go and try to, yeah, to do just that. And eventually we will get to, oh, nice. There's even a slight gradient when the sun as it sets. That's amazing. In the real world, you could see the um, Earth's shadow as it is on the other side, but of the setting sun. But here we're just, we don't have that in this world and that's fine. It's gorgeous though. Okay, and then we're gonna teleport ourselves over to Aldrun and do the mouth of Archmagister Grathrin's chore. And also while we are in Aldrun, we're also gonna purchase a Colovian hat. Yes, we made a plan. And then we're gonna go for Drake's Pride. I think that is going to be the things that we'll do in that order. So let's just say hi everyone um we're back again we couldn't stay away we have a few things that we want to accomplish so i think well met greetings greetings Debian. one of you in here offered spell making what may yes I Pleasure to meet you. so we don't have spell making altars like in oblivion for instance or in skyrim i think no in skyrim you can't make spells but here we do have a few options of doing that. So we have the levitate one here, and this is gonna be on self. And I'd imagine, I don't know, does magnitude have any effect? Just going to do duration, I think. Let's see, spell chance. Oh, great, so you can actually already see the effect here. Perfect, okay. So I have no idea what this does. But as we can see, we're lowering our chances of casting it. At least it's not zero. If I push it all the way up here to 13, 14, you'll see we have, oh, the chance goes, goes into minus. Wow, okay, great. So magnitude one, two, 
10. I don't know what that does, but let's try the experiment. 20, 27 should be enough. Maybe even just 20 seconds. We'll just compromise and say 25 seconds. Okay. Since the core is fast after all, so let's say that that fly sings like core fly. Ooh. Okay. So let's see what that does. We have a fifteen percent. Oh, we have 50% chance of casting. What was that? Yeah, my question as well. Okay, what was that about? <laughs> We're gonna stand over here so we don't confuse you. Oh, wait, I don't know. What should we talk about? Okay, we'll find another place to practice this what spell. What can I do for you, friend? Um, well, Lenny, we need another levitate spell. And I think we just need one that is less. I just oh, you can do it on target as well. Interesting. Okay, we just need one that is less um, resource demanding. So let's say fifteen, and let's say like um, just fly a bit, just fly. Great. Please okay. go ahead, Outlander. I'm listening. Okay. Uh, Welcome to the day What should we talk about? Oh, I love that reading. Anyways, okay, there is one in here. You are going again. I just want to test. That guy asks way too many questions. Okay, it's very overwhelming because there's a lot of people in a very small amount of space. So let's go to Alrun immediately before I get overwhelmed. Before we get overwhelmed. Okay, so while we're here, I just want to test a new just fly spell. Oh, we don't have. Okay. Um, so we might just have to find a way to get our magicka back. I'm just gonna. I know this is a waste, of course. Let's just see how much we can get healed back. That's all of it. That's perfect. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look at us. Look at us. We are flying. So great tip, thank you so much. Actually, I just forgotten the spell making was a thing in this game. Um, despite the fact that it was listed in some interactions with people, I just overlooked it. But um, we are now able to levitate. And it didn't cost a lot of magic as well. So tidings and good wishes to you. Thank you, you too, Orant. And we've said hi and goodbye to you a few times. Ooh. A light storm. Okay, um, let's quickly walk on up to under Scar. No, the pawnbroker. I think that is the general merchant. I suppose it is my duty to help those less fortunate than myself. Yes, Torian, Torian, but we are not those. We are things like core. We are here to shape your world. You're not here to shape ours. Yes, we do, Tiras. Let's get some stuff done. Where is it? Where is it? There it is, Klungen for a helm. That took a lot of episodes. You know what? We don't mind paying a bit more for it. There we go. And... Voila! Nice! It is insanely adorable and fashionable um oh wait <laughs> okay we're just gonna sell a few things to you to us as well um let's see here um we've got a journeyman's calcinator we can sell one of them oh he doesn't buy that despite the fact be he's a general trader but okay that's fine we can accept that uh, to a certain extent so do we have any cure poison or cure common disease? Don't know if we should actually get rid of that because we might get something that we need to cure. Restore bargain silence. Okay, let's just sell the silence one because one of you noted that that wasn't really important. And we're not going to wear an amulet. Like, 
not just any amulet. We're going to wear an enchanted one. So we might as well just sell this again despite me buying it. I think I bought it because we already had a good deal of money. The offer is refused, okay? The offer is refused, okay. There we go. Wait. Great. And now I've gotten rid of them. Perfect. Great. Let's go. What is that book? A mercantile skill increased to 17. We should have read that before. Okay. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. We are on our way, Rhiny. You don't have to look at us anymore. And ghastly weather, isn't it? So there was someone that we were meant to talk to here in Aldrun. Mouth Malam Ryan wants me to ask Baladas Demnevani about the disappearance of the dwarves. So we had these three questions. And Baladas Demnevani, three questions. Let's, you can use the which is in this is. Ah, okay. So we are going to Nissus, which is a new town. So for those of you who haven't been to Nissus, this is going to be an interesting journey, of course. And I would like to wait until the weather is better, because see, these light storms, they are... Yeah, not fun to wait or walk through, so I don't know I what... I must be going, so if you could make it quick... We will go in Have and seek... any news? <laughs> <laughs> so weird when you leave one person with this with one voice and then you enter and then you just experience another person who has the exact same voice you're just like oh wait okay what are you doing both outside and in here that doesn't yeah but um it's also Sakosius's voice so that makes it even more troubling but um let's go in here and see if we can't find a bed and just rest I think things like core needs it this owned until healed perfect and let's just rest 24 hours i feel like we need that because we didn't rest last time we um ended last episode we ended last episode on a balcony or usually we ended in a bed or near a bed at least i think we've slept in here before as well so that's nice anyways okay so let's go and venture outside again mm -mm -mm. can we actually leave this building without activating Orent because he seems to it's not that we don't want to talk to him he's just he always has something to say when we pass by him oh very good you shouldn't be here neither should you Louis you were honestly the one standing outside in a storm of aerosols and we don't know what kind of aerosols it is it's it's quite worrying to be fairly honest and it seems that the storm is dissipating, so let's get going. I think we can afford to walk to Nissus. I might make this episode just a little bit longer, uh, as we'll have more time to enjoy the scenery and enjoy the road most traveled. It's a road that I'd imagine a lot of people take on a regular basis. Okay, so I'll ruin this way. We don't see a sign for Nissus. Mm. Is Nissus where I think it is? I think it is north of here. And we do have a book, don't we? Worth. Mm. Guide to Balmora. Ghost Gate, Balmora Pelagius. We should have taken the guide to Aldrun as well, just to kind of get some in... Oh, Christ. Okay, fair enough. Um, oh, who are you? Oh, we're getting distracted. Is this a good idea? And Ashlander standing out in the middle of... What is that? A sheep? What? I don't. There, I know that there are sheep in Tamriel, but not in Vanfell. That's hilarious. Oh. Wow. 
Okay. I'm uh, waiting. Falano Indaran. Falano Indaran, what are you doing out here? Please, can you help me? My husband and I were traveling through here and we were attacked by a pack of wild Nyx hounds. Okay, let's go for let's go through it. Okay, what happened? There were at least three of them. They seemed to come out of nowhere. My, my husband Jarrell and Darren tried to fight them off, but they were too much for him. He was forced to flee. I tried to play dead in, the, in hopes the hounds would find no sport in me. I just hope I find Jarrell before the hounds come back. I love that she has time to even say his surname as well, but that might be a thing that that's important when you're mentioning a person here in this land. Anyways. We'll go look for your husband, Falano, for sure. You're willing to do that? Oh, thank you so much. I'm sure he didn't go too far because the hounds seem to have hurt him. Oh, if I remember correctly, he ran off to the west, but in all the confusion, I can't be sure. No worries, Falano. We are used to getting vague directions to things, so we will go and find your husband. We'll have to take care of that cliff racer because that is going to come and try to harm us. Let's go. Oh, I do like the shock ball, so let's try with that. Okay, fair enough, that was. Wait, we don't have enough magicka? Okay. So we might just go and get a bottle of it. Perfect. Wait. Okay, so her husband got very confused and very frightened of the Nyx Hound. So let's go west, which she indicated that he had run towards. And hopefully he's alive. There are two Nyx Hounds here. We'll of course be... There we go. And we can just take this one out here and give each of them a single blow with our Claymore. Okay. Perfect. Come on. Strange creature, honestly, really is a strange creature. Okay, we are very close to being over encumbered, so let's not pick something up. And I'm not going to try and aggravate that guar over there because. Oh, here he is! Okay, let's just get rid of that cliff racer first. Oh no, he's flying away, so. Should be fine. I'd imagine this is him. Vla Gerrero, is that you? You've spoken to Falano. Then she's alive. Let's get to her quickly. Okay, okay. F Gerrero, follow us. Don't make any sudden movements besides running. We're almost there. She's on the other side of that hill. Go on. Hopefully Jarrell is not as curious about Gwars as we were when we first encountered them, but I doubt it since he's an Ashlander. He is he knows that they are that they can be aggressive creatures once prompted. Oi! Ow! Wow! Ow! Shit! And because our fatigue is so low, this is actually a dangerous battle. You'd think there was something else hitting us. Okay, his AI is not able to navigate up this hill, so we have to go around it. That's fine. Drrrl. This way. Our Argonian climbing skills are superior to those of the Dunmar, so we have to be patient with these people. So let's go here. Very good, Drrrl. You are with us again. We're almost here. There is your wife. Come on. She will be so happy to see you. We were happy to see you as well. That you were alive. So, okay. You too. Speak, traveler. <laughs> Thank the gods. We found her. I never thought I'd see her again. You finding me was has truly been a blessing. Thank you so much for your help, Sings Ikor. I wish I had more to offer you, but please take this book. 
It has meant so much to the two of us. I can only hope you find as much enjoyment in it as, as we have. Take care. A dance in the fire chapter two has been added to your inventory. Okay, thank you. And Falano, we were happy. No, okay. <laughs> she does not have any goodbye lines. Fair enough. Um, we just wanted to say goodbye. But uh, we also appreciate that the two of you want to have some time spent together, which we wholeheartedly understand. This is... Ah, block skill increased to six. Okay. That is a long book, but it seems like an actual story, which would be a great read if we had more time, but... Ooh. Okay, great. So, as soon as we are a bit further away from the town, we can walk towards Nissus. We have gotten a skill book that we can sell, and got a bit more experience from finding the Nyx Hounds and the Cliff Racer, so... We are walking away from this adventure slightly richer than before we launched into it. So let's go and look for other things to do. There is, um, oh, what was her name? The one over there who was like um, mocking us, but still um, in need of assistance. She's probably still standing about over on that road up the way to, um, what is it? Buckmouth. Fort Buckmuth. Fort Buckmuth. Ooh. This is before this cliff racer discovered us. So this is the way I assume. Okay, let's just keep an eye out because we know how fast these creatures are. Nope. That doesn't work. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And finally. Whoa! Until healed. Ooh! Thank. Oh, this is the script. Hello. Ah, <sighs> okay. And the biome changes. We have just walked from these ash-covered lands, or where we can kind of say barren volcanic rock, and now we're in venturing into this slightly not as barren, but there are these trees that seem to have either died or. I'm getting into this forest of trees that seem to have died a while back. Seems that there is some lichens on the tree stumps and on the rocks, so something some things can grow and survive here, including cliff racers, but they can grow and survive anywhere. So I don't know, do we need to walk this way? Oh, there's a road sign here. Sorry, I missed that, I think. Ooh, 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 heh. That is enough to... Do not... And the grand finale. And that was even beautiful looking up, having the sun there, and then Master and Secunda in the background. I think Secunda is the small one and Master is the big one. But beautiful, isn't it, though? Actually, I like that. That is nice. Hmm. Wow, that triggered something dark inside of me. That cliff racer sneaking up on us like that. That wasn't, um, lo that wasn't a lovely experience. I do, yeah. Okay, Caldera and Nisus is this way. Okay, so we're walking the right way. Um, my nostalgia concerning Morrowind is actually related to the skies. I could not... I don't think that MGE ha XE has, like, changed anything in the skies. Maybe increased the textures a bit, I could imagine. But I do have... My recollections of Morrowind skies, both day and night, are so powerful. Like, they are so vivid. The way you just stand by the coast and look up and see these cirrus clouds far up in the atmosphere. And obviously, like, graphically, the skies in Sk Skyrim uh, are, are much better looking. But I still... They still really, really had such an impact on me when I was in the young age. It was like beauty I'd never seen before. Neither in a movie or in real life. And this is this way. Okay, let's go. And we have Nyx Hounds waiting in front of us. And we should have rested a bit. I got carried away. Let's just 
get some fatigue back before these attack us and we probably need to get some fatigue potions also because fatigue is the core to it's basically decides everything that we do in this game okay and uh, the next oh there are two of them there i think so we can get both of them Okay. <laughs> wow. And someone will pass by here and says, Who took out three Nyx hounds at once? And unfortunately, no one saw us do it. So, very few people, if no one will know, that this was Sing Slick Core who made the roads just feel a little bit safer. Even though these animals have the right to be here as much as we do, we. We could have probably, if we ran faster, we would have ran ahead and just escaped him in that way. But Nick's hounds are faster than us, so there was no other way we were going to make it out of that situation. I like this place. This is. It's actually really nice, except I feel like we're getting lost a little bit. Oh, these trees, look at them. Okay, rest a bit. And now it's night time. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Oh, wow. They're just passing next to each other, the two. Secunda and Masser. That is beautiful. Let's just take it in. Six like Koi is taking it in. Okay, fair enough. So there is a what here. We're not going to go investigate that anytime soon. We're just going to go and leave these two Nyx hounds alone and not stray too far off the path. Try not to get this Nyx hound up here on our backs, but just weasel our way past it. Sorry, I just got mesmerized by everything here. Ooh, Brubersh. We have too much. We're carrying too much. So I'm just until we could probably get back to Creeper, the scamp merchant, we will start selling things to Creeper and get rid of a lot of our items. But let's just be a bit conservative on what we pick up from now on. I know we were going to pick up more ingredients as we went along but um, right now I'm not prioritizing alchemy unless you can convince me otherwise of course but for the time being okay so we have no fatigue which is also something again I should try to manage but here we go okay Weed. Ah, the Kaguti over there. We're not going to be engaging with them. So let's just see. Oh, it seems like we have to, though. I wonder what's that way. Mm. Love this feeling. Not. I can't remember. There's a place where there's an ambush up in this region somewhere. With I think maybe it's further north, near Cool or something. Um, but other than that, I don't know what happens if you walk in that direction. But I do like the feeling that you can kind of be like, oh, what is around the next corner? What could potentially be of help? Or is there maybe another little settlement in that at the end of this road? Or is it a tomb or a ruin? Who knows? Just things that could spike our curiosity, but also maybe, yeah find treasure place where we can find treasure who knows okay this kagudi i mean well i really just want to walk past you but what an interesting creature by the way as well Ooh, uh, too close god totally Ooh, they are fierce hey level five 
You have ascended to level 5. Everything you do is just a bit easier, more instinctive, more satisfying. It is as though you had suddenly developed keen senses and instincts. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna go for intelligence, willpower, and go for strength, because we need it right now. So yeah, we have a bit more capacity and we can carry more items. Kakuti hide, we don't really want to go with that. Even though it does yield, oh, drains fatigue. Okay, we don't need your resources, even though we do feel bad that we had to take your life. Um, we shall say a silent prayer for the Kakuti and be on our way. Okay, so let's see here. Um, cool, Nisis is that way. I love that the road kind of is quite winding here. Ah, wow, look at this. This, honestly, I have just been down at the coast for two days in West Cork. Kind of looking out to the coast like this, it does have the same vibe as, as here. I really, really do appreciate this. Um, beautiful environment. Mm. Okay, so let's go this way. And there's a Nick sound up here who is also just standing about grazing. Oh, these trees are special. I really, really love them. Wow. Mm. These roads are peculiar. You could just... It would be a great ambush environment. Really, it would. Honestly. Um, luckily, we haven't seen any cliff races. This might not be their habitat. Um, but obviously, don't say those things too soon. Just haven't seen any around the place. Ah, lovely. We've got these natural arcs over here as well. Gorgeous. Mm. Bit of green plants. Oh, it's empty, so we're gonna just see what we could get out of it. Oh, lichen! Oh, great! Fortified personality. Let's go for that. Let's see if we can get something good out of it. Now that we have a few extra KGs that we can carry. Rubrush, drain willpower. I would like to have plants that have more positive effects. You know what? I said that we weren't going to care too much about alchemy, but let's just gather some ingredients with a purpose. And actually, let's try and see if we can't do things that could support our journey. So pick ingredients with a purpose, if one could say it like that. Is this Nissis down here though? I am a little bit unsure because that ford over there seems familiar. Just look, thinking back on previous journeys through these lands. Oh, the water looks inviting. Do you know things like Kor just like to dip his feet in the water? And we don't have any boots. Ah. I'm actually gonna just take a sip of water while he's standing here. Mmm. Gorgeous. Nice. Ah. Oh. That was quite nice. Refreshing, at least. Um, I think I was just thirsty. <laughs> that was probably what was... Uh, triggering my desire to go down there, uh, bring things like core down there. So um, let's just venture onwards now. I feel like we're almost in Nisus. What is this? Is this a river? If you could characterize it as a river. Hmm. Ooh. You don't want anything to do with us. Yeah, you do want a lot to do with us. Okay, so this is where I just want to see how things go in this game. So we don't have 
a lot of fatigue. So you can actually hover the cursor or the mouse over these elements down here and you can get an answer to what they mean. So low fatigue me makes it harder to successfully perform actions. So performing actions like spells is harder. And we can luckily we're at 63% here, so we should have enough to take out this Nyx Hound. But still, this increases, of course, as we found out the last time, as fatigue increases, so does the chance of us to cast spells. Performing actions means almost all actions in this game, I'd imagine, even alchemy, as one of you pointed out. So that is interesting in itself. But great, okay, we'll steal its meat because that can be used as a restore fatigue. Um, we call it resource or ingredient. And crush wheat is restore luck. And we should try to, I should try to remember them, um, what the, the, each of the ingredients do. So we have crush fiber and crush wheat, which both restore luck so we have matching effects there so let's definitely save those and let's see what more crushed weed and more crushed fiber over here crushed weed sorry mm -hmm. oh what are these stone flower restore strength i think we need that for when a potential Tivar Tilvani Lord tries to prevent us from leaving. Great. Restore strength. And loads of these here. Mm, amazing. And what are you? What are you? You are crush weed again. Great. Okay. Crush weed. More crush weed. weed. So. Great. Okay. So we're picking ingredients with a purpose, um, rather than just aimlessly do, just get getting a few things here and there. So let's go. Nisus is still this way, and it's a gorgeous day actually. It's just it really is nice. Chokeweed, drain luck. Nope. Mm -hmm. And we saw a cliff racer earlier, so obviously this is also. An environment that they thrive in, as they do in all the other environments and biomes. Chokeweed is still... Mm. Let's see. A really peculiar forest, honestly. So I did... A, an episode where I ooh ooh okay so these could be hostile Ashlanders they are hostile Ashlanders um, so okay and one of them is a mage seemingly quite powerful and we should arrest it before we did this so we might as well just tackle one of them just gonna see if I don't have something here um, I got a bit uh, mesmerized with the landscape and forgot that we needed to also just stop and um, and heal a bit but um, yeah that happens um, but sure we'll take it from baseline regardless of it all and just try to fight away Oh, hey. Oh, hey. They all want us. They all want us. Okay. You have to leave. Oh. Okay. She seems powerful. Um, for some odd reason, I can't figure out why it is that I think she might be. Okay. And that has no charge we could okay more restore magica 
And as one of you said, thank you for telling me that. Apparently, potion effects stack as well. So, oh, Christ, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to cast a fireball. Shock ball. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh, she's, um, she's given up? Or what's the deal? Okay, we're just gonna loot your friend and then... Oh, she's... She's not giving up. Okay, I'm just gonna loot your... Um, obviously we don't have capacity for it, so we'll come back. But obviously the things are not that valuable as well. And if anything else fails, we have Divine Intervention, of course, and Osmi Intervention. Okay. And... Oh, we can actually do this. Okay. Almost there. What is she doing? We have... I forget to look at our... Oh, okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. Come on. Oh, okay. Yes, until healed. Okay, great. We're back at baseline. Oh, it looked like such a fabulous outfit that you had there for a moment. Shinamu. Again, the bandits are named here. It's incredible. Piloon Ajapaladon. I really love that. Okay. So we have one more Ashlander out here who has... Okay, so... interesting in their loot and I don't want to just strip them of their items without also considering what we have to carry back worn chest okay fair enough yeah hmm ah <sighs> let's just stand here for a moment and just chill that was a lot things that core were spurred by the moment that's why he attacked the last one Adrenaline was flowing, so he thought, why not? Why not just take out the third Ashlander in this camp? But he thought about it for a moment, and now he's he's kind of regretting the violence. Yeah, I think that's it. Now, let's move forward. We've got a lot to consider, of course. Um... So, yeah. Hmm. Assist until healed. What time is it now? It is 5 a.m. So we're just making it to Nisis as the sun rises, um, which is not a bad time to arrive to a new place. Ooh, I think that's Muck Sponge. We'll try to go down there without provoking the mud crab. And mud crabs, they run slower than us so we even if it does attack us we or they are slower than us even if it does attack us we will um not retaliate so i think that's two mucks or what do you call them where are they three four pieces of muck so we just need 
One more. Oh, perfect. I know you are gonna go. Oh. Okay, you don't have enough magicka. We have enough claymore. Okay, cut. Six like core, you can do it. Okay, we need to just. Wow! They are. Capable creatures. Capable. Capable. We need more restore magic and potions as well. Oh. oh no, more. I hope it's not another Kaguti. Deceased Kaguti. Interesting. I think that's the mud crab that's trying to. Let's potentially just let's spam the rest button. Oh my. By the gods. Okay. This way. This way. This way. Things like core. We're not gonna go and. Yes, there we go. Okay. Whew. Right, so. What time is it now? It's 6 p.m. Wow, so we just rested for an entire morning and afternoon out here. That's all good. I don't know. Have we walked past Nisis now? I think we're on the way up to cool. I'm just going to take this one out to the game quite quickly. And okay, we're almost here. Oh, I think I'm lost. I think I walked too far. I think we are lost. I think we're too far away. It's interesting how no fatigue and then it's just a battle trying to get a rat to die, sorry. Okay, we're not gonna go and say hi to these people over here as well. There's something here. Okay. So let's go back to mm. Let's see if we can't see Nisses from here. Boy. Classical Morrowind experience. Ooh! No, that is willpower. This is Magicka. Okay. Whew! Oh, so many bridges as well here. There's one, there's two, there's three. We've already crossed one of them. So let's just go and mm. Okay. Mm. Let's go and let's pick up some stone flowers as well. Mm. Okay, this way. If we hadn't turned down here, we would have potentially ended up in cool. And I have to say, actually, cool is one of the places I have great memories of. I remember there was not a lot to do, but I really just liked hanging out there in the town. Uh, and I'm not walking the opposite direction just because I don't want to go to Nisis. I just want to go down here and loot these muck sponges that we s just briefly could see down by the coast. So we can bring them to... Who was it who needed muck? Mm. Raven or Main asked me to bring her five portions of muck for potions for cure disease. Okay, great. <laughs> So now we have, or we will also just take some of this crush weed. And the last muck sponge did not have anything. Great, okay, cool. We have enough muck now. We don't have to look for that. <laughs> Let's just see what kind of a mine is this over here. Or Palen, Palen Sour, Palen Sour or Palen Sour. Whichever way you want to say it. Mm -hmm. 
Delicious stone flower, perfect. Crush weed, perfect. And there's another stone flower that we just, there we go, perfect. And this is this way, and I can see a guard tower over there. So we should be close to the strange and, um, yeah, this new town. Oh, look at that down there. Whoa. Ah, could this be where that ambush takes place or am I mistaken? Are we intrigued enough to go down there or do we want to head on? We want to go down there and just check what that is. I might make this episode just a little bit longer because of that. Okay, so let's go. And we will also just until healed just for the atmosphere and let's go down here and have a look <laughs> I don't remember there being a corpse in a boat though well, let's go down here and have a look because you could actually see the assassin that wants to kill you and in any case if it is that they do want no this is something else entirely i do not remember this actually interesting who is this wow there's a whole world underwater oh viciously clawed dead smuggler I assume that is not his name, but Cruel Viper Arrow. Okay, and he has a short bow, a common amulet, lockpick, pro, and for his own dignity, keep his clothes on. So, oh, there's goodies down here. I'm just gonna just go into sneaky mode just in case. this a little bit of that perfect viciously clawed dead smuggler interesting I wonder what happened to him like I don't remember encountering this uh, when I played it but we have these two ingredients that could help us um, heal our fatigue we're just gonna loot a few more things and while we're down here, I'm just gonna quick save because you never know if something's gonna come and surprise us on our way up. You just never know around here. Seems okay. Okay, yeah, fine. Great, we're on the way to Nisus. Nothing severe. Nothing unexpected happened. Oh! Deceased rat. There's a lot of deceased animals around here. Is that because of the blight storm? Um, I think they were related as far as I remembered. <laughs> okay, so... Interesting little encounter down there. Kind of stands out. And there's that huge slot of fish in the water. I'm not really... I want to kind of send a shock ball down its um, direction, but it's also good if we just save our resources for later. And uh, we're nearing Nissus a little bit later than we thought we would, but it's all good. We're here. We're almost there. Sorry, we're not here yet, but it's getting closer and closer. And let's just pick up some stone flower. And while we're in the town, we might as well also just sit down and see if we can't produce a potion or two and obviously that requires us to have our fatigue completely recharged so just before i go into the town itself amazing they just right next to a daedric ruin they just have this town established that is brave honestly and i don't think we're in nieces i'm not sure i almost I think we're, is this 
cool. No, this is Alvelothi. Yeah, okay. We're not in Isis. We have to go this way. And uh, so we still aren't where we're supposed to be. <laughs> and uh, okay, fair enough. We found Alvelothi. And I think there might be a Silt Strider service here. I'm not sure. But just to kind of check. For some odd reason, I recalled Alvelothi. Lotti as being more than this, but apparently it's not, and that's fine as well. Uh, let's just keep going. I think I have to not stray too far away from the road signs, but this the road signs say take us this way, so I guess that is what we're meant to do. But I don't really see, or is that the road over here? Okay, I am definitely lost. Because I remember we saw the arc of a fort somewhere, and I feel like that would have been it. But then again. You are going to be pestering us in a moment's time, so that's why I am just prematurely sending a few fire shock balls your direction, sorry. Uh, crush weed, we're almost also over encumbering ourselves, just looking for ingredients, so it would be nice to get to Nisus soon. And there's a road sign here, perfect. Let's go and see what that is. I am curious now about that. Mm. Okay, we need more Magicka. And I'm also running out of Magicka potions. Oh, that is Fortify. There they are, perfect. I still have a few, okay. Destruction spell increased to 44. Perfect. We just wanted to see what this is up here. That's it. <laughs> Crash. Weed. Nothing. That is part of a Dwemer ruin. Okay. And we could go over to it. I think that this is quest related, but I'm not sure. And you. Ooh! Ooh, look, a Wow! You can see Solstheim from here. I remember when I played this back long ago. I remember when the DLC was made available to me. I don't remember if I... I don't think I got it when it was released. No, I didn't. I didn't, because I think I, I played Morrowind a year or two after it was released. But I remember swimming from Badenfell, here where we are, over the way to Solstheim. And I remember it took a long time. Obviously, this was at a realistic pace. And... Oh, I'm just going to introduce you to one of the aquatic animals here. And it was when these little things here were swimming around, which didn't make it easier, so obviously it took a very long time. These are droids or drugs. A little kind of half man, half crustacean, half octopus, half squid. Octopus or squid, I don't know. But um, there are a lot of them out there in the water, so... I don't remember, I might have used cheats or something like that in the end to get over to the other side but rumor has it I made it but then again remember that vanilla Morrowind or Morrowind without MGEXE or another graphics extender does not have the visibility or the draw distance that it has here so me being able to see Solstein from the coast here is quite marvelous and actually just it makes it feel like a whole new game for me right now it's amazing 
You can actually see all the little details there, the, um, the stones that you interact with. And they are in the DLC for Skyrim as well. So you're engaging with this island in Skyrim's last DLC, like we kind of spoke of earlier. So you have Skull the village over there on the hill in the background. Incredible, you can just see this from here. All of this is just made available to us. It's not a huge amount of land. It's just, yeah, a speck in the ocean. Amazing. Cool. Let's keep our going all the way over to Nisis. Yeah, we're sidetracking. Um, delightfully so as well. It's nice to just take in the experience and enjoy the environment. Because that is a huge part of playing this game. Nissis, let's go. And... Oh! This is where there's an ambush. Will we go for it and see if we can survive it? We've got this beautiful lighting. And I'm just gonna go and play stupid. What can I do for you, friend? <clears throat> okay, RP received pronunciation um, accent coming up. <clears throat> ah, hello there. I was hoping a handsome young gentleman like yourself would happen by. Might you take a moment to help a lady in distress? Well, I dropped my ring and I can't seem to find it. I think it might have just rolled down into this pool here, but I can't go in and get it. Because I'm expecting the Nisses shortly. Well, we are two it, so we'll see who has more time, or is it just a matter of who has the prowess to go down and pick this ring? But anyways, well, you see, I'm <clears throat> I'm a private dancer, and I can't very well smell like icky muck water now, can I? Could you please get it for me? The water's not very deep, and I've be very grateful and of course in your debt mm, let's just make you feel better about the whole situation and say it will be your pleasure to do in that sense oh thank you when I finish dancing this evening perhaps we can get together and discuss your reward okay seems of course made a little bit uncomfortable by that we kind of already know what is going on here and who are you over here? And you're obviously invisible. Leave me alone, Amanda, okay? This person is meant to be invisible, but I think uh, the shaders probably just, yeah, haven't made that clear enough. Obviously, things like Core is gonna come down to the water, and there is the ring. Expensive no ring. Deed goes unpunished, Outlander. You will suffer greatly, okay. Ooh. Okay, we need that magic potion definitely for sure. And they stack luckily, so that's Ooh. Ah great. So Tavainu and Sinet were in a plot to deceive good-natured people like things like Kor. And um, we have an amulet of shadows, which I think could be a useful asset in our journey towards conquest and glory. Now, the other things aren't too... Oh, yeah. Shit. The other things aren't too enticing, so let's just eat this Kwama egg. Oh, okay. We're still over-encumbered. Mm, elite hide. Let's see that. Okay. Good amount of coin on them. Cruel Viper ring is poison on two others. Sunet has oh throwing stars. I remember you got throw yeah you get throwing stars from these people. Actually, that's something that I'm gonna take away from this experience. Okay, great. Now 
we don't have a lot to exchange that we want to get rid of. We have maybe three items that would be good to just not use. Mm, what can we give away then? Maybe we have a... Ah, we could use a divine intervention and potentially... Yeah, let's see where we actually end up if we use the divine intervention. I'm just gonna say quick save here and divine intervention or in I'll see the intervention. I'm just thinking Nisus has a temp Yeah, okay. We're gonna use divine intervention. Let's see where we end up. Yes, perfect. We're Nisus. Ah, we didn't have to go that much further. Anyways, I'm just gonna throw down this calcinator here one of the calcinators I'm just gonna put it down here and wow it's huge imagine we've been walking around with that one as well and it's this is the way to this is beautiful go ahead straight wow that is some time to arrive to this village or town Oh, look at Master, just red. Oh, gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Hmm. Six like Core is also just looking around and just being like, wow. Never been in Nisus before. So this is another experience for him where he's has a, it's, it's a positive surprise for him, definitely. He's, uh, he's enthralled by it. It would say that he had no expectations, but uh, oh, look at this over here. Mm. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Maconius. Man, there is <laughs> I read man flu. That was why I had to go back. It was like man flu. Okay, manilu. Man flu. No. Okay, barracks. Very good. Okay. So, we are here for a reason. After retrieving the ring for Sinet Jaleen, she and an accomplice began to began to attack me. It seems this was all a ruse to lure unwary travelers to their doom. Yes. We've done that. And what is it that we wanted to do here in Nisis? We wanted to ask a few questions to Baladas Demnevani about the disappearance of the Dwemer. And let's see here. Did we... Three questions, okay. Lives in Arvistrelin, which is in Nisses. Arvistrelin? Okay, fair enough. Let's just go around and see what that means. Marach Trade House. Shishara Hut. Manlilu. Shand Hut. Okay. Ooh! Ah, we had a good supply of muck sponges here. Look, this is practically a forest of muck sponges. Okay, great. Nice to know at least. Um, but we're not going to need that at this moment because we already have five just to confirm because it's also annoying getting back and realizing that we could have picked more. But no, we have all of them that we need. I love this cover. Yes, I remember this up here. So atmospheric as well. Like with one of some of the other things, this is where you're like, oh, I'd love to actually have a space like this in real life. It's like a um, beer garden, like an outdoor sitting area. We could just sit here and look over the town of Nisus. Gorgeous. A few more people and this would be perfect. Um, but... Okay, so let's go here. They have a temple as well. We 
I think we have soon just seen enough spaces in here for us to just turn around and be like, oh, we can look at the map and try to... Okay, so let's have a look at the local map just to see if we potentially passed anything that is... Oh, the loads of... Why are the locations not showing up? Okay, Yaha's hut. Mm. Green. Okay, so let's just ask maybe around. Hello, Malvirian Palenix. Any time now. Hello, I'm an officer of the Imperial Legion. Move along. Okay, someone in particular. Merodrora is Nisis Temple Priestess. Hetman Abelmavia is Village Hetman. General Darius leads the Death's Head Legion Garrison at Fort Darius. Optiopologra, an orc, is Death Head, Death's Head Legion's Camp Prefect. Fenis Madach runs the Madach Trade House. A renegade Telvani wizard, Baladas Demnevani, lives in Arvstrelin. The old Veloth Tower. Okay, the old Veloth Tower. Oh. I think an old Veloth Tower. Um, okay. That must be that over there. Yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna quick save because that sounds a bit dangerous. Um, I might just go into the Dunmer Temple here. Just heal a bit. Oh, this is exactly the place where I did this episode with the orcs in Skyrim, uh, where I was examining them, and then Kor and Sirana uh, did this. Um, I'll see, I'll see the intervention spell and this is exactly where they ended up so of course 200 years later after this so let's see what this does we're here to receive a blessing just quickly and want to hear if and one of you also said that healers are well worth checking out for spells and anything magic related which is great and I'll definitely take advantage of that now. So let's see here if we could. And heal companion, will that be necessary? It might be, it might be. So let's just acquire that. Baladas, okay. He's a rogue Telvani wizard. Came here over 20 years ago and set himself up in Arvistrelin, the abandoned Velothi Tower on the northwest edge of town. Okay, great. So that sounds like something that we'll have to um, go and fight against. We could just use the bed here. While it is a temple, I'd imagine they'd be like, weary travelers, come here and rest. Let's take advantage of that. Let's head over to... Is this the entrance? Might be. To Arvstreleth? I keep forgetting that name. Too many consonants next to each other. Um, Drelin. Arvstrelin. Right. Arvstrelin. There we go. Okay. Just going to... Quick save. Wooden door. Are you friendly or are you hostile? Rat. You are not going to attack. Well, you are going to attack me. Okay, great. That would have been nice to know if you had said something. Okay. At least we have a low chance of picking up diseases from them. Okay. Rogue Tilvani Wizard. Interesting. So we'll see if person is hostile or not mm -hmm. ah nice oh 
What is that? Is that... A Daedraph? What have we gotten ourselves into? Ooh, okay, that is scary. Hi, I just... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Can we just put off magic attacks? No, we can't. Okay. I can't just... I can't get my... I... Okay, I just realized I didn't have a spell equipped, so... Okay, that was a waste. Anyways, I can't rest here while enemies are nearby. Okay, maybe I should just go and get... Speak quickly. A few resources from a healer before we go in here. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Okay, so next time I can't cast a spell, I just have to remember I have to have a spell equipped. Uh, because the game won't automatically just... Yeah have something at your disposal okay so we have a we don't need more of those potions but it's good to have in any case um restore health i'm gonna get some of those cure common disease flynn willpower strength we might get actually flynn doesn't seem to have any negative effect so and restore fatigue fortify health let's go for it because there's a daedroth in there i don't really like those so just to be sure restore strength in turn just in case we see a someone that could potentially want that would want to um, take that away from us restore intelligence Restore health. We're panicking, yes, evidently, but there's reason for it. And any magicka? Nope, none of whatsoever. Let's see if we can sell. No, he doesn't take that. He doesn't buy that. Viper blade? No. Okay, so none of the weapons. Um, maybe the bold ring. I don't think we need that, but he doesn't take that either. Health, frost shield, yes, let's go over that. Sell that. Because now we're over encumbered. We don't really get rid of a lot of weight by, yeah, selling those things. And we're over encumbered now. Okay, so what I'm gonna- Make it quick, I got him. Um, I'm gonna drink some Flynn and just see if that helps us a bit. Yes, it does. And potentially, is there another person in here who could help us? Ooh, wow, look how this place opens up. That is impressive. Let's not make this official outlet. Okay, we're running out of how much time do I have? Maybe we should just head down to the marketplace immediately and just sell our stuff down there instead. So before potentially whatever is Okay, great. And let's just assume that the market is open here at night, which it is. And okay, there we go. I'm waiting. Shulk, Shulki Ashunbabi. You are in the village of Nisi, things like core. I'm Shulki Ashunbabi. Can I help you? If you're looking for services, Nisi, we're pretty limited. Just a mining village, a temple, and a small legion garrison. Ah, oh, but you potentially could help us get rid of some of our stuff, couldn't you? Oh, you could. Perfect. Of course we can. Uh, paralyze for 10 seconds. Do you know I might actually keep that? And the Viber Blade I won't use. Yeah, I am not going to be investing in the Marksman's skills. That is for sure. Amulet of Shadows. That does sound quite enticing, but I'm not sure how much of benefit it would be to us. So we're just selling you these items to get rid of them. Um, condition it is in decent condition actually so 
offers refused. Okay, great. Great. So I think we should have gotten rid with enough of enough items for us to go and venture into. Oh, we are here. We are under influence of Flynn still. So strength is up by 20. So I assume that is the 300. So we are 300 capacity, which should be fine. And let's just see if there's no, I don't think we need to get rid of any more go items. Ahead. Probably uh, nothing. Oh, probably nothing. But I am going to go into the temple again go just ahead. to sleep a bit before we go into. Oh, okay. Ah, so we were. So the Flynn was giving us a good deal of extra strength. Um, which just means that we have to either drink more Flynn just to move the last few items over. Or if we have to get rid of some of the stuff that we're carrying. But it's so fabulous. I don't think we need to carry a common shirt around. Neither do we need to carry common pants around. And we will find some glorious loot in that mine. And perhaps it's also a matter of us choosing between short blade and potentially a claymore. Oh, that is hard. Ooh, heh. Let's see for our skills for a moment here. Long blade. So this is short blade, this is long blade. So we're obviously better with, I would imagine that we're better with the claymore than we are with the short blade. Short blade is a minor skill, a miscellaneous skill. So it's not something that we have a lot of, it's we've only five in short blade. We have 41 in long blade, so definitely prioritize that. That means that, and it doesn't weigh much, so it won't make that much of a difference, but I am just gonna leave it here for now until we at one point know what to do with these things. I hope it won't be considered stealing when we at some point pick them up again. Um, but sure, here we go. And imagine, okay, let's just see here for a moment. Um, okay, let's just get some rest first and foremost. Until you. Great. Okay. And I will try to stop once in a while just to heal or to restore. Our, oh. To restore our. Go ahead. Fatigue. And maybe we should talk to this orc. Because he's standing out here for a reason. Say your name. Yes, Naz. Hello, I am an officer of the Imperial Legion. Move along. Baladas. Okay. He keeps to himself and has his food and supplies delivered to the door. He's been a good neighbor. Quiet, no trouble. Perfect. Okay. Optio Bologra. Who's that? Optio Bologra is the camp prefect of the Death's Head Legion garrison at Fort Darius. He's a tough and violent orc. Not clever or polished, but nonetheless an effective and respected officer. Okay. Thank you for letting us know a bit more about his personality. We are not here to harm you, so... Yeah. Thanks. Yes. 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 Nuts. Right. Okay. So back in here and we know that there are a few critters that we have to be wary of, including a few skeletons. Let's walk this way and see what happens because we tried the other way and that got us killed because of my incompetence. So let's go this way. Let's in here. Okay, creepy. It's really creepy to be fairly honest. Okay, I'm just gonna quick save and go in here. Okay, this is where these two were. Wow, okay. Okay, Christ, okay, they're very good. Uh, at what they do. Okay. That was terrifying. 
Whew, okay, restore agility. We definitely need that bone meal. I think we've earned that. Let's go in here and just have a look at what is in this place. Ooh, Velothian Helm. Let's see if we can wear that. Other than that, I'm sure there's some merchant that would... No, we can't wear that. So there is some merchant that would be happy to get that from us. Perishogem? No. Perfect. Um, scary, 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 scary solstice. Scary, 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 scary solstice. Okay. Let's go in here. There's a bed in here as well. I'm just going to close the door and hope that no one bothers us while we're sleeping in it. Great. Perfect. Just going to sneak. We have to be a bit quiet here because this could potentially end up with us getting murdered we don't want that no did we walk in from this direction or i think we have to go this way okay maybe or maybe it's the other way let's have a look here at the local map okay this is confusing good thing about this is that we're not losing any fatigue by walking this slowly we might lose our sanity but that's a cheap price to pay <gasps> okay so we have to go oh no there's something upstairs okay let's just run through it and see if we can't find a way upstairs Okay, we can't find a way upstairs. Okay. I think this is where the day truth is. I could just see the shadow going through the floor. That was basically it, so... We are going to just see what happens when we get here. On the top floor. Trapped. Crap, okay. Mm. Don't we have... No. So what that do? Okay, let's see here. Apprentices lock pick. Okay, lock too complex. Fair enough. We won't get anywhere with that. Um. So we're not gonna go up to the Daedroth. If it is a Daedroth, I'm pretty sure it is. Got a biped and um Yeah, huge head with what look like crocodile jaws. Okay, great. So we're gonna go to We are... That was no challenge for us. Well, it was a challenge, but not as much as we thought it would be. Okay. Just gonna go and... Go down here and see what's around. Ooh! Interesting. What's in here? A prison cell. Empty. Seemingly empty. And a janitor's dinner table. I wonder what's in here. Oh, wow. Okay. What's this? Raw ebony. Oh, I had a request to do something geological about the ebony. And I think there were some other mining resources. I just probably have to read about it at some point. Okay. Good. Okay, so there's a 
summoning room key interesting what is a summoning room key? the wolf queen oh speechcraft skill increased to 33 ah okay great so there is more to the series about Lorenze, what do they call it? The Wolf Queen, Potema. That was her. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna lock and close this door behind us and try to lock pick this box up here. There we go. Okay, so a bit of gold in there. Great. Okay, we can jump down the bed now. Oh, there's another one. Ah, common clothing. Well, at least we have done a bit. A green pot, a goblet, two goblets inside. Great. <laughs> let's save that for another time. Okay. So let's get upstairs now. I think something sinister awaits us up in the summoning room, was it? Sounds scary, honestly. And do we have to... No, I think actually as long as we have the key in an inventory, it'll open the door. But um, yeah, let's go for it. Okay. We're almost there. Frighteningly close. I think probably it'd be better to. Um, yeah, I have to remember to have our spells equipped. There we go before engaging in combat. Okay. There it is. Oh, that did. No! Oh, we resisted the magic. Maybe the fireball would be better. Um, okay. Um, we don't have any more magicka. That is definitely for sure. Okay. Stack, stack, stack. And. Let's try with fireball. Ow! Oh, definitely not engaging with you. Oh no! <sighs> this is honestly my worst nightmare! Oh! Who? Okay, we're almost there. Kind of things like, oh, we're almost there. Oh. Deirdre's heart. An interesting reward here in this crazy place. Seems like this isn't all that there is. So let's just go down and rest a bit. The much more humanoid here in um, in Badenfell or the Morrowind versions of the Daedroth. Okay, so let's go in here and just rest a bit until healed. Yeah, that's for sure. And the people of Nissis are outside it, wondering what happened to that Argonian who passed by, who was asking a lot of weird questions, and suddenly he went into what was that place called? He went into Arvstrelen. Suddenly, he was never heard from again. Oh, what is that? Okay. Okay, we can do this. And what is... That is also weird. That is a skull. That is a skull, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm just gonna quick save because maybe these are not, they're not hostile and we can walk in and things will be fine. Baladas. So good to see you. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> what a greeting. Um, Yeah, I guess we're happy to see you too. I am Belades Dimnevani, and this Armstrong is my home. Why have you come here? Um, we have three questions for you. You may ask your three questions. You want to know first about the disappearance of the dwarves? Yes, that's our question. Hmm. It was unfashionable among the Dwemer to view their spirits as synthetic constructs, three, four, or forty creational gradients below the divine. During the Dawn Era, they researched the death of the Earth Bones, what we call now the laws of nature, dissecting the process of the sacred willing itself into the profane. I believe their mechanists and tonal architects discovered systematic regression techniques to perform the reverse. That is, to create the sacred from the death of the profane. Okay, go on, Baladas. So, as the Dwemer left no corpses or traces of conflict behind, I believe that generations of ritualistic anti-creations resulted in their immediate but foreseen removal from the Mundus. They retreated behind math, behind color, behind the active principle itself that the Dwemer vanished during a conflict with Nerevar and the Tribunal is merely a coincidence. Okay, interesting. Two other questions, if you don't mind. Chronicles of Nuchelef? Hmm, the Chronicles of Nuchelef is very rare. There are probably still copies of the book in the Dwemer ruin of Nuchelef left. <laughs> Anyways, no, bad joke. Otherwise, you could try asking booksellers where one might find a copy. Okay, thanks for that. We already have been in possession of one copy because someone in the Mage's Guild needed one, but we won't tell that to Balada. So the last question, Dwemer Artifacts. Ah, Dwemer Artifacts. In the denial of both Phenomena and Noumena, the Dwemer found comfort in the creation of Animunculi, which in their operation combined two incompatible principles, thus denying both. In the first Dwemer ruin I studied, quite by chance in my wandering youth, someone had activated the Animunculi guardians, and I was unable to make a proper study of them. Since then, I have on occasion found ruins, especially here in Vanfell, where the Animunculi are still active. Interesting. Okay, so your three questions. You may ask your three questions. Did you not say your last question was about the Dwemer language? Oh yes, sorry, Baladas. Actually, yes, it was. I do not know the Dwemer language. Okay, well, um, are you sure? Yes, I do not know the Dwemer language. Great, okay, so the three questions. I have answered your three questions. Great, perfect. Uh, Belada said he did not know about the Dwemer language. Um, and Belada, oh, okay, so he wants us to bring him books. Fair enough, Baladas Demnevani told me his own theory. He believes that the Dwemer found a way to translate the sacred from the profane, and experiments in anti-creation removed them from the Mundus. The Dwemer retreated behind math, color, and the active principle. The active principle, that sounds mysterious. Uh, potentially more mysterious than it should be. <clears throat> Lovely bed, by the way, as well, and uh, honestly, if I was able for it, I would get myself a room like this. This is phenomenal. So do you... Hello? Shock Centurion. That's you who was emitting that creepy sound. Okay, great. We found Baladas and we asked him the three questions. I don't know if more is required of us other than giving him these books, of course. Um, antecedent of Dwemer Law. We don't have that, but I'm not going to go through Nushelef. That's going to be quite an experience traversing through a Dwemer ruin. I'm not sure if things like Core is ready for that. Yeah, let's save that for another time. And we killed a Daedroth, which was quite a, um, quite a thing to do. The last thing I want to focus on, and I'm not sure if I skipped some of the 
things that we initially talked about but let's just have a look at we have talk to Pilatus and how did we get to that ah mouth malum of course yeah very good so drake's pride we're gonna go for that i am keen and i'm interested scary sinise or sinise thindo a servant of master gothran asked us to oh that's the person that we need to get drake's pride from and we need to find a way to get to Telerun. and i think we will avail of the travel services in the town here so let's get moving there's a silt strider service here in Nisis, and I think we can take that onwards to the coast. Yes, nice. I thought that I thought the Pilatus would be hostile or somewhat not easy to cooperate with, but he was good. He was very friendly and it was something that we were pleasantly surprised about and he didn't have any slaves which was another plus so we definitely liked him even though he we did also engage with his you know domain so i can't really be angry about having to fight a daedrath in his territory we make a special trip just for you but that Say is all thanks punuibi just a sec but that is also a thing about the Telvanni wizard lores that we can expect is that they will often have these crazy experiments going about and as we go on you will see they'll become even crazier than what we've already seen so um let's see how are we gonna get to tell arun i'd imagine we need to go somewhere coastal in order to get to tell arun this and you can correct me if i'm wrong we'll find out eventually of course but i imagine tell arun being over here somewhere so that means that we have to go to cool. I'll go to cool, actually, just for the sake of old memories. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. <laughs> Sell this. This is cool. I do like it. It's like a fishing hamlet in a sense. Laoid and cool are for the same reasons my... And I wouldn't say favorite places. Definitely not. But they are places that I will always carry with me in my memories and it's this coastal fishing hamlet vibe to it all and this storm is fierce wow that came about quickly okay do we have a tavern or something just to Ooh. Okay. Prorit Shag. Congar's Trade House. Okay, great. Super. Wow. It's too small to have any. Um... Unless one can sleep over there at any beds. Come on, then. Say something or move on. Same to you, sings like core. I am Thongar, and this is cool. How can I help you? Um, can we just stay in here for a bit until we just sit and have a few conversations with people? Hungar. Thungar. What is your trade? I am a trader, a general merchant. I buy and sell a little of everything. Weapons, armor, clothes, books, miscellaneous items of all kinds. Take a look around. Let me know what you want. Or if you have things you'd like to sell. Let me take a look at them, and I'll give you a price. Okay. Shathera. Oh, welcome, things like Kor. I am Shathera. This is the fishing village of Kool. Can I help you find someone in particular? Um, Why do you approach? We were curious, Shathera, but we are on our way now. A bit of light rain is okay. Oh, that is not light rain. Okay. Let's leave this place relatively quickly. Funny just 
architectural dissonance right in the middle of it all. Okay. Ah, uh, we should catch a boat, of course. That was what we were meant to do. Sorry about that. Let's go down here. Ooh, okay. Seems like Cor is not happy about the thunder, no. No! We're almost there, we're almost there, don't worry. Talmeni Drathon. The same to you, sings like Kor. I'm Talmeni Drathon, and this is cool. How can I help you? Can we go to Dagenfell, maybe, and then see if we can end up in Telerun that way? Oh, Dagenfell is also a cluster F of different architectures. You've got a Dwemer Tower there, and if I remember correctly, there's actually a wizard or some sort occupied in that tower. And then you have this Ashlander, coastal Ashlander architecture, and then you just have Imperial slash Breton influence here in the back. It's just a mix of different things. And... Oh, wow! So this probably was Dwemer ruins all of it. Ah, and then they just built the town in the remnants of the Dwemer ruins. That is so cool. Oh, wow. Great. Okay. A lot of things I've just skipped ahead of. We're going to go and engage with Dagonfell at another point. I just want to use this as a way to get to... <laughs> as a way to get to Telarun. Hey, my farce. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is something about that name that is um, that is strange. And finally, we're getting to Telerun. Thanks, Hema. And thank you, Dana Dairis. We will. Now. We weren't... Ah, Telerun is close to Satrith Mora. That is probably why there weren't any traveling options from Satrith Mora. Because you're probably meant to walk over here. Interesting. And there's not much here. There's no shops outside. It's I guess it's just the Mushroom Tower. We will see when we're closer. Okay, Telerun underground. Let's just quick save. Let's learn a bit if we meet any friendly people. Let's just ask if what the deal is with these people. An oath is an oath. It is indeed. Okay. Speak quickly. Orzoth Grabagarmf. I don't know you. What do you want? Um, we're here for Drake's pride. Yes, that's one of Sinise Thindo's robes. She is in the tower's living quarters. Okay, great. We'll go and find Sinise then. An oath is an oath, isn't it? So let's go and see if we can't find Sinise. Large round door to tell everyone. Oh, so there are people outside. You just need to get in the core. Oh, wow. Hello, Seville. I am Maine. Welcome, Sings Like Core, to the Festival Slave Market, the finest slaves in Vadenfell. I'm Seville Armain, and I know we have the slave for you. Are you looking for standard household slaves, Sings Like Core, or are you looking for something special? Okay, so let's ask about a standard household slaves. The following slaves are available for purchase. Sabaka, um, Khajiit Mail, Manilian, Scarius, an imperial male, Menelras, a Bosma male, Sirlinde, an Altma female, Jadir Manik, a Breton male, and Davina, a Redguard female. Um, Sakba, can we hear about Sakba? Ah, a traditional list. The Khajiit are naturally well suited for slavery. He's the same price as the others. Thousand drakes. Wow. 
Seville, we're just gonna buy the Sigbar just to get him away from your claws. Okay. Very well. Sigbar is now yours. I'll give the orders to have him removed from the slave pit. You can find him just inside. Okay, we obviously don't have enough money to buy all of them now, but we will go and talk to Sabar Kar. Is it inside? Where is inside? Is it inside here or where? There. Over there. That's new. What can Sabaka do for you? Okay, Sabaka, we want you to follow us for a little bit, but after a while we want to just set you free. Uh, we just have to find a place where these people can't potentially catch you. But um, come with us for a bit. And having you around will actually elevate our status while it is that you're walking in our toe for a bit. So let's just go and yeah. See if we can't resolve whatever we came here to resolve relatively quickly or lightly um, without any violence. I think this is also in Tel Arun where Marie, Marie or Main. Hmm. Beauty and the Bandit, there we are. Okay. Um, next. Marie or Main. There we go. Imoset Brack in Tel Arun. So we're gonna go and find Imoset Brack. She must be somewhere here. So this is Sis Smith. We're just gonna go on a bit of an adventure with us, Sabaka. But we are almost. We'll give you your freedom, don't worry. Just hold on. Oh! That's Pharrell. So where could Imoset be? Mm. Could also just check the banners here. Pot and plaster. And we sure pot and plaster isn't Imoset. She must be somewhere around here. Pot and plaster is. Let's go in here and see. No, that's Terrain Gareth. Don't know you. Imoset, Brack. Oh! Well met. Well met. Greetings. Greetings, Imoset. We. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Imoset Brack. How can I help you? Well, we heard about your friend Marie or Main. We helped her with finding. There was something about her and a bandit. Ah, so you're the one who brought Marie and Nellas together. Nothing has been seen or heard of them since then, but the bards are singing songs of their love. Well done, sings like Kor. Please take these as a token of my gratitude. Oh, okay, fair enough. Three exclusive restore health potions. Great. Can we also ask you a bit about, you know, yeah, Drake's pride? Yes, that is one of Sydney's Thindus robes. She is in the tower's living quarters. Okay, great. Um, perfect. Thanks, Terrain. Uh, I had an idea that she was in one of these, um, just from playing it bef previously. So, my instinct was saying perhaps she's up here. And what are you doing out here? What's this about? Stentus Tullius. Not related to the General Tullius. Maybe, potentially, it is your grandchild who we meet in Skyrim. I don't know you. What do you want? Have you heard about Marie and Nellis? Oh, I've heard the bard singing of the love of these two. No one has seen either of them in a long time. It is said they ran off together to live away from prying eyes. Great. And what is your background? I am Stentus Tullius, trader. Great. Nice to meet you, Tullius. Right, let's go inside the tower. Tabaka. If something happens to me, just run. It might do you good, because you're a fast runner. But I think things will be fine. Just trust me. Stay close. <coughs> Erna Marion. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Erna Marion. How can I help you? Um, Drake's Pride. 
It's the same response. Oh, I like this place Do as well. Do you have anything to barter? Brariony, this is an indoor market. I really like this place. Let's get a few potions just because we are in need of those and we're spending a lot of money right now. Um, so let's, oh, we're not buying Sujama. Um, obviously not. Let's get a few fatigue potions as well. These things, we've encountered a few dangerous scenarios, so we might as well just invest in our health. Fortify health. Offer, great. Okay, so this is a gorgeous room. Ooh, look at this mushroom plant. I really dig this. I like. May you find all that you see, traveler. So wait, this wasn't tower entry. I am confused now. Can you not go anywhere here or what? Oh, Sabaka, you'll have to wait down here. I know it's super annoying, but we'll ask these people to take what good care of you. you want, Erna, friend. take good care of Sabaka. Let no harm befall him. We're just gonna go up and say hi to these people up here. Wait, if we don't get stuck in various objects, of course. There we go. There we go. Ooh. What brings you here, friend? Um, a few things, Anora. Nice to meet you. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Anora. How can I help you? Let me just lower my hands and then. Killing and murder. Oh, this is Tilvani stuff. Background, what's your story? I am Menorah, spell sword and spell right of the great house Tilvani. Nice, nice to meet you as well. We are gonna go in and talk to one of your people. Tower living quarters, okay. Ooh, oh, wow. That's colorful. Barusi Venom. Greetings, Outlander. Senis Tindu. Uh, don't I know you from somewhere? Yes. Greetings, Outlander. I think I've heard of you before. That is convenient because we don't need to give a longer introduction then. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Senis Tindu. How can I help you? And we're Saints Like Court, and we're just here to ask about Drake's Pride. Y yes, this is the Drake's Pride that I wear. It's not for sale. Oh, this is awkward. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess this is where we might. Where is have... that slave? Here, not long ago. Okay, Sinis. Things like core. Please ask anything of Sinis Tindu. Sings Sinis Sin Tindu is happy to help a friend. <laughs> okay. You're generous, things like core, and your judgment is good. Okay. Yes, this is the Drake's Pride that I wear. It's not for sale. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to... Wonder where these young Tilvani were headed off with all that gear. Ship's master said they had quite a load. These young Tilvani were headed off with all that gear. I don't know where they were headed off for. Secrets. Hmm... Uh, this is also something that we already know specific place the docks are to the south the village and slave market to the north and the tower of Tel Arun sits on the high ground in the center of the island the plot and plaster trade house and most public services are northeast of the tower while most of house Silvani services are in the lower tower the upper tower is reserved for Lof Gothran and his retainers interesting um, Barusi Venom could we maybe ask you about Drake's Pride? Speak with Sinise Tindu about that. Okay. What about Gothran? Gothran lives in the tower. There's a south-facing door in the upper tower. At the top of stair. At the top of stairs. From the upper terrace. You have to fly to get up to the upper terrace. You can't get to Gothran through the tower entry. Or the tower living quarters. 
Oh, thank you for thank you for telling me where I how I can't get there because that's something that you sometimes need. Is there something I can do for you, Outlander? Can you fly up there, Velara and Drathi? Speak to speak with Sinis Tindu about that. Is it possible to get up there? I'm just gonna check. No, it isn't. But peculiar. Imagine if that went up to the actual top of the tower. But still, we're happy to have engaged with it. Um, I am loving that you recommended... I don't know why I didn't think of it. That I could just create a levitate spell. Probably because I have forgotten that spell making was a thing in this game. But... We have to be careful. Wow. This is also quite a revealing view. Amazing. Oh, there's a shipwreck down there. This whole coast is like dotted with shipwrecks and we have Satrap Mora there in the distance. So we were looking over here earlier, actually when we started this episode. So we have already seen it from a distance. Okay. And does it avail? Hello and Of course. What may I do for you? Boromir, not to be confused with Boromir, but let's hear who you are. Sharpshooter and spellwright of the Great House Telvani. Great, okay. Nice to meet you, Boromir. And does it avail? With an outfit like that, you must be doing very well for yourself. Can I help you? Thanks, Indase. And we must admit, the Colovian hat added a bit to it. Do you have something to say, Outlander? Not at this moment, Indase. We want to find Gothran and just talk to him. Maybe we can convince him that. I don't think we can convince Gothran of anything. He has two Dremora as his guards. That is. Bad as I do remember meeting him now. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. I'm sure you do with these two guys watching over you. To be fair, I would have also in Skyrim been running around with two Dremora lords or uh, Draugr overlords, so not that weird, you know. I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? Can we hear about you? Yes, I am Gothran. Oh, anything about the Nerva? Just, while we're here, we might as well just ask about the Nerva. When the Dunmer followed Veloth to Morrowind, there were many warring clans with no law or leader in common. One Dunmer warlord, Nerevar, had the ambition to rule all the Dunmer. In that time, House Dwemer were great enchanters, so Nerevar went in secret to a Dwemer smith and asked for an enchanted ring that would help him. The ring gave its wearer great powers of persuasion for safety. It was enchanted to instantly kill anyone who would, except Nerevar. The ring was called Moon and Star, and it helped Nerevar unite the various clans into the First Council. Later, however, a dispute over religion divided the council, with House Dwemer and House Dagoth on one side, and all the other houses on the other. Dumak and Dagoth invited Orc and Nor clans as allies and held Northwest Morrowind, while Nerevar mustered the other houses and nomad tribes and marched to meet the Dwemer Dagoth Westerner forces. The armies met at Red Mountain, a Dwemer stronghold. The Dormer were defeated, and terrible sorceries were used, resulting in the utter extermination of House Dwemer, House Dagoth, and their allies. Nerevar died after the battle, and his ring was lost, but Nerevar's alliance survives in Morrowind's ruling political institution, the Grand Council. Interesting. Thank you. This makes me kind of recall some of the plot here as well. Could, could, hi, how, how are you? Whoa. We have to fight the likes of you at some point. 
Okay, Gunther, nice to meet you. Um, I think we might actually also just stop here because we've done a lot so far and we're just gonna look at these books. Not to read them, but just to kind of see if any of them are skill books. Ah, Conjuration. Um, ooh, Enchant, great, okay. Nice. But, oh, a lute. Ah, I love these instruments. There are a few of them scattered around. Uh, hopefully we can dive more into that at some point. But I think that this is an apt place to stop. We have to think about a way is there to... Is something I can do for you, Outlander? No. I think there's something that we have to do in Dazi, and it's going to be a very tough decision. But we're just going to end down in the living quarters and get some rest, I think. Because we are Telvani, we don't have to think as much about fall damage because we can just do like this. And I think one person that we would like to just get back down to is Bakasa. Um, when we meet Bakasa, who is down here somewhere. No. Do you know what? What we'll do? Things might get rough when we open up. And... It might be good to just think about how we're gonna approach... Wow. Okay, there we go. How we're gonna approach getting Thindo's robe. The Drake's. Drake's pride. I can tell. Can't do you have anything to barter? No, we don't. Sabaka, come with me. And let's go. Any time now. Indeed. Let's see. How are we gonna get down to? We might have to just walk south through here. Is it possible without? We could walk over to Satrith Mora, but I think that is a bit dangerous. So what I would propose that we do is just take the tunnel through. Uh, we just want to um, find a safe place to let Sabaka go. Then we will return here to Tel Arum. And... My time is precious, so make it quick. We know, Seville, you are busy selling people against their own will. Okay. Wow! That was a hard thing to navigate through. Spaka, come on. Let's go down here, Spaka. Okay. Um, where would the best place be to set off, Sabaka? Um, good question. Hello. My time is precious, so make it quick. Don't worry, Danis. We will do so. Um. Tell Voss, Voss maybe, Telmora. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. And Tonus, Delvani. Let's go to Dakenfell Voss. It's the same options that we had before. Let's go to Satrich Mora and see. We're using a lot of money getting different places. to back up. We just want to make sure that. You're getting to a safe port. Gals Arethi. Perhaps you can take us to Eppenhardt. I think that would be a nice place to do so in. Okay. With as little uh, Telvani influence as possible. Sabaga, we're gonna leave you here. What, go free? You, you let Sabaga go free? Yeah, we will, Sabaga. And um, we have already sent a letter to Kosius about ensuring that freed slaves are given safe passage to Cyrodiil. So please make your way down there by boat. And we'll give him a bit of money as well. 
here, so it is that he has enough to do in stealth mystics. <laughs> oh, it's because his disposition is already very high. Okay, there we go. Sharing is good, things like Kor. I like sharing. Very good. Sabaga, enjoy your journey. Nothing. You are free. And now our time is we are meant to go back to Telarun and potentially enact great evils. Um, but we'll just have to see if that will truly be the case. And really, we're just passing through. We just need to go all the way up to Satrath Mora and... Let's give... Let's go back here to the halfway or gateway tavern. Let's go here to the gateway tavern. And Gariel, hello. And let's just end it here. Questions. And you know what? Actually, before I end it, I might just go. You have something to say to me? Not you, Senora Men, but we have something to say to you people who are watching this. And I'm just gonna sit. Actually, let's get the room. And nope, that's not it. Beds. Yes, we have one available. It's 10 gold for the rest of the day. Do you want it? Yes, we do. Good. You can use the second floor loft. <laughs> oh, we managed to get away from her before she coughed in our face. Great. Okay. So, while we are just gonna sleep for 24 hours, not because it has any effect, but just there's a role playing, seems the court does like sleeping a lot. Um, ABC for barbarians. I'm just gonna read through this and you may dial out of it if you want to um, by this point. I just want to say thank you for watching. It was a longer episode, I couldn't help it. Everything got so exciting for a moment and yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching this far and if you want to stay with me, you can read the ABC for barbarians. I think this was written for scantily clad Nord people, but let's just go through it and see what it says about. Maybe we need to have the alphabet refreshed for us, who knows. In any case, if you are zoning out, um, looking forward to having you watching along next time. Uh, take care. So, here we go. <clears throat> ABC for barbarians. A is for Atronach. B is for Bunkless Bane. C is for Comberry. Great. Nice. See you.